Yeah, here we go. Snow plow. So I think he's kind of letting us through. And uh, FSD is doing a good job in just uh, overtaking here. Coming into this exit over here. This is this is wild. Like it's actually driving over the snow snow covered lanes. All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another FSD supervised video. We are still in snow conditions here. It got a little bit even uh, worse than the usual. So we're coming up to this roundabout here and then we're going down on an off ramp to go to the highway. Let's see how it does this. It's doing pretty well, actually. Wow, look at this. So at, the, at this point, you can see that the snow has created such craters that it thinks that the line limits are within these craters. So uh, let's see. It's going to have to step up on its speed a little bit here. And then, yeah, I'm still on the lowest setting for, uh, for the highway speeds. And hopefully I'm still on chill mode. I'm gonna have to check when I'm joining the highway here. It should start going faster. This is my only concern. So yeah, let's go. Let's disengage and go faster here. Just cause there's a car behind me. And engage over here. <laughs> All right. This is a little bit wild. So, yeah, uh, as you can see over here, there's a lot of, uh, uh, there's only probably one visible lane. I'm on chill mode. And uh, it, is it detecting anything? It's not, it's just kind of going in a straight road. And you can see the highway, uh, the indicator, uh, the lane markings are on the visualization is very limited. No cars on my left. This is early in the morning, so I kind of uh, wanted to go out a little bit on the earlier side just because I don't want to hit traffic. Actually, I'll be honest with you guys, like with traffic, full self-driving in snow conditions, it tends to be a little bit better. Once you get a lead car, it starts, it really understands where it has to be driving. Um, so yeah, now it's starting to create its own, you can see in the visualization, it's like limiting the road limits. It's it doesn't really know how far the curb is going to be or like the end of the highway limits are. But this right here on chill mode uh, with a lead vehicle, this is probably the safest bet. Like as you can see now, it thinks that the road limits is literally, this is the, the hard left side of the road, which is not true. And now it's starting to kind of go off here to this other lane that it's starting to create by itself and this this is opening up now a dangerous situation where I'm not really happy for it to drive over here just because there's a car that's gonna come up on my left hand side here so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just wait it out for a bit and I'll show you what I mean by, oh, we can't really see anything because of the, uh, the back camera is already occluded, but you can see on the side repeater, there's the car. Oh, and it's going back to behind this lead vehicle over here. Okay. It's going back behind this lead vehicle here. We are on chill mode, so we really should be trying to stick to the further right most of the highway. And uh, yeah, as long as it drives behind this truck, I'll be happy. This is actually okay. Like, um, I don't know if it makes sense or not, but in the previous version, it used to really rely on lane dimensions. So you'll start seeing your steering wheel going left and right a little bit, trying to maintain being between the lanes, if that makes any sense. Um, and because there's no, not much visibility, that's always changing and it gets a little bit too dynamic for my liking. But um, uh, this year, it seems like, or with version 12.5.6, it seems like uh, it doesn't really take into account 
lane markings a lot and uh, instead it looks for spacing between vehicles so the lead vehicle in front of us for example and any vehicle coming up from from behind us okay so at this point our backup camera is pretty pretty um, fogged up and this is uh, this is uh, also with our new um, cover lens cover thing that Tesla started fitting into all the new cars so I actually have that I'll put a picture of it uh, I have that in my vehicle and that came from Tesla so so yeah it doesn't really help that much when, in these conditions I'll be honest so really if you don't have that and you think you're missing out you're not really missing out that much <laughs> I'm sure in rain conditions it'll probably be a little bit uh, it protected a little bit better yeah, this is um, this is not really great driving though. Uh, let me let me be upfront here, because you're hogging up two lanes and you're driving on the on the white snowbank in the middle of the two lanes, and that's where you might end up in dangerous situations. Here, I am just monitoring it very uh, very good. So, yeah, we'll probably we probably don't really need to um, test other modes like uh, actually let's, let's try and do that here's standard for example let me just make sure here that I've got my so standard our speeds building up a little bit let's see if we go in hurry but we are we, we do have to get out of going and exit over here so it's not really gonna do anything let's go back to chill here I'm not gonna go crazy and I think that's the exit that we need to. And we're getting a little bit too close to that truck over there. So I am going to disengage. That is really terrible driving. <laughs> okay. So here's FSD engaged. The truck is kind of like on the snowbank as well. We're on the snowbank because that's what expect is expected from us. And yeah, it's uh, kind of doing it well. Oh, we don't need to go further or or too close here let's see oh it is slowing down it is slowing down it is slowing down so that's great and this is partly because of the lead vehicle I'm, I'm actually interested to see how it does without the lead vehicle here uh, I don't have too much high hopes without it I mean uh, let's be honest here nobody's gonna use FSD in these conditions uh, you'd rather be driving manually because you there has to be there has to be a built-in trust here um with these conditions because you're really you're really putting your your vehicle and your yourself in the situation where you have to have that that hard trust with someone even if someone else is driving the, it's a little bit uncomfortable um but yeah you don't really get a feel of the if there's any slippage or icy conditions when you're on FSD. That's I think that's kind of like what what really throws us off here. And then okay, and we're gonna head back over here on the highway again. And we're getting the FSD is degraded. Now these are the conditions where it struggles and it doesn't really find the limit of this road for example actually it's doing pretty good early braking is it gonna wait for that car no that car's turning in so struggling a little bit here with this uh, it's getting a little bit too close to that snowbank here and don't want it to run us off the cliff to be honest And it's not too bad. I mean, you can see the cones on the left-hand side over there. Those are the limits of the highway. All right, now let's go to... Yeah, here we go. We're getting off the beaten path here. This is, this is a tough one. Yeah, and it's not driving within the limits, and the snow is a little bit too much, so it's catching. 
on the wheel. So I'm going to drive this actually manually here. So once it catches, it's going to throw you off the, off the, um, basically off the road. So you don't want it to do that. Once you catch a drift of that fluffy snow. All right. So let's try here. It does struggle. Let me see. Are we going to hit the hundred? Come on. Give me the highway stack. I'm just waiting for it to initiate the high uh, it's going back again to the limits over there all right it's not really giving me the the 80 kilometer speed limit and i need to join the highway here before we run into a situation and here we go now we're on hurry uh it doesn't really and and yeah this is so this is a this is a okay and it's going too fast here so i'm going to disengage so let me explain what's going on here um the this is a new highway and this this section over here does not have good map data so it, what it does it always tends to give the signal right and hug the right uh, right lane i've tested this i've tested this um without snow conditions so this doesn't really give us a lot of um, a controlled environment testing so i'm just going to drive this bit over here um and then here's an interesting situation we've got a snow plow in front of us and we're going to be driving a little bit slow here so yeah okay i might have to speed you up guys over here just because uh we don't want to be I don't want to make this video long, but, uh, oh, okay. So I think, yeah, we might have to overtake all these cars. You typically are not allowed to overtake a snow plow. So we, I really don't want to do that. <laughs> so we'll take it slow over here, guys. Um, let's see in this situation, if we go on, let's, let's keep it on chill mode here. Yeah, and I can see the lane markings clearly, been like in the middle here where we're driving, and our car is nowhere close to it. So, and let's see if it's gonna pick a lane here. Yeah, it does. So, see, see, this is what I mean by. When you're in traffic and snow conditions, it actually does well. Uh, just as I'm saying that, it's crossing over the lane markings. But yeah, it understands, uh, you know, the s spacing requirements between cars and it kind of maintains that. So this is wild. Like for me, this is wild because previously FSD did not do this. It did not drive just also also casually over this over the lane markings yeah so we're stuck behind the snow plow and uh yeah i mean obviously folks like don't really use fsd on the highway in snow conditions it's not really advisable i would say uh, i'm just doing this just for the sake of testing it and seeing improvements but uh yeah we are coming up to our exit nearby here. Uh, I'll just wrap up over here very quickly. Um, I'll do a little bit more testing, but honestly, I don't really find a lot of uh, like uh, anything interesting around this. I'm doing this because I've I've gotten multiple um, multiple requests to do it, and uh, I understand it's it's interesting. You know, you, you want to find out what's going to happen and all that stuff. Okay, so this is weird here. Everybody's overtaking the snowplow. So I think he's kind of letting us through. And uh, FSD is doing a good job in just uh, overtaking here. Nice. And then immediately takes uh, it hits the indicator to go back. Very nice. Maybe that's hard coded in. <laughs> Pass, overpass, overtake the, the snow plow when it's slowing down for you and then uh, <laughs> change, uh, change lanes and drive normally after that. <laughs> 
so yeah folks if you like this video and um, you want to support me please hit like and please subscribe to my channel and for more snow videos please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or you want me to test out any other conditions uh, another video that I'm probably working on right now is uh, auto park in snow covered lanes in snow covered parking lots let's say so that would be an interesting to see as well if there's any um, how that happens and uh, and uh, we'll have a little bit of a discussion around that uh, scenario so we should be coming out to this coming into this exit over here this is this is wild like it's actually driving over the snow snow covered lanes like it's so hard to predict these things. How does it know this is an exit lane? Uh, just by pure vision. It's, uh, it's really wild. I'm not doing anything here. Oh, and here we're running into a situation, so I am going to overtake. I don't want it to get into that snowbank there. Uh, just as I was impressed, I, I kind of like, uh, uh, you, you know. <laughs> I was like, why didn't you just finish that right? Okay, folks, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.